Hey guys, this is Lennon from Visionary Universe with another After Effects tutorial and today it's going to be quick and simple. We're just going to create this simple countdown effect. Now I'm going to show you why I'm creating this. You see, recently in my videos I've had this little countdown effect over here on the side of my screen and basically this just shows when I'm going to stop rambling, when I'm actually going to get on to the actual tutorial. So it counts down to that point. So it's actually really late at night, I'm talking kind of quiet, but hopefully you guys can hear me. So the countdown for this tutorial should end about now, because we're going to go ahead and begin. So let's suppose you're in Premiere, you're making a video, and you want this little countdown effect on the side of your video. Well, we'll start by creating a color map. So in the project panel, we can come down here to the new item and create a new color map. So basically this is just, a, just like a solid layer on After Effects. So we can grab this color map and drag it down to our composition, just like this. So I want the countdown to last from here to here. I'm going to turn this off. And basically how we turn this into a countdown is we right click, choose replace with After Effects composition. Now this composition has actually opened up in After Effects and now we can start making adjustments. So let's go ahead and delete that color map that we created in Premiere. And then we'll create a new, actually null object. So we're going to go our effects and presets and add a slider control to this null object. And then we'll add an expression to this slider control. And then we'll just type in time. So basically, the value of the slider is equal to the value of time in seconds. So for example, here we're at 2 seconds, so the value of the slider is 2. Here we're at 4 seconds, so the value of the slider is 4. So I hope that makes sense to you. And there's actually a really, really cool technique. Let's go ahead and create, right click and create a new text layer. We can just leave the input empty, and then we go to the text, add an expression to the source text, and then we pick whip it to the slider controller. And so now this source text displays the value of the slider. So then it goes to a really high decibel. We can check that out, it just extends really far. So we don't really want our countdown to display that many decimals or any decimals at all. So there's an easy way to fix this. We can go to the slider controller, put parentheses around time, and type in math.floor and basically what this does is it takes the nearest lowest integer from that particular number so if it's 1.5 it takes 1 because 1 is the closest lowest integer from 1.5 so now we can preview this and we can see that it counts up from 1 in real time so it's 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds and so on so this is basically what we want so we can go ahead and grab this text, we can change the colors to do whatever we want, and we can style it however we want with After Effects, and then we can go back to Premiere, and we can see that our countdown has actually updated. There is one problem though, it's counting up, and there's an easy way to fix this. If we just go to time, hit negative time, you can see it's actually going to count down. So basically, we got to start it at a certain value, so we can do plus 30. So basically this starts at 30 and then minus this time, or counts down. So I hope that makes sense. We're counting down from 30, so that's why we did plus 30. So now we can go back to Premiere, and then we can see that it actually counts down from 30. So there we go. That's how we create that simple countdown effect. There's also a lot of useful techniques involved in this. Because the cool technique here is that I can display high decimal values by linking them to the source text of a text layer. So suppose I want to see decimals of pi. So I can do math.pi. And pi is an irrational number. And basically, this is going to display many decimals of pi. 3.1415926535. It displays many decimals of pi. So this is actually a re re very useful technique. If you need to know ex the exact value of a certain slider, you can link it to the source text of a text layer, and it will show you all those decimals. So that's a really cool technique. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. It's just an easy, just quick, easy way to count down. Hopefully you found that useful with a few little cool techniques. So if you learned anything, please like this video. That would help me out. And consider subscribing. Alright, so it's been fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.